Right, so uh, this is going to be a Cancer Sun, uh, Cancer Moon, and as well Cancer Rising. Weekly general tarot reading February, uh, February, oh my God, a March 2nd to March 8th, uh, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, you can uh, check out the description down below. And uh, there you're going to find a uh, link to my uh, link to my website from which uh, you can have um, a variety of choices in regards to what service you're going to go for, for a private reading that is. So that moves us to the spread straight away here. The first one that we do have for you, Cancer, is going to be uh, the Six of Cups that stands as the topic of your week moving next here it is the energies feeding up the situation and that is to be the judgment afterwards cancer what we do have it is the challenges that you need and have to overcome throughout the week that is to be the tree of wands uh, then we do have the gifts and the blessings that uh, you can enjoy definitely throughout the week that is to be the gift and the blessing of the four of pentacles here uh, is there a glare on the cards? I'm just checking on my camera. Yeah, if I hold them here, there is a glare. All right. So, um, yeah, Four of Pentacles uh, is the gifts and the blessings. After that, uh, what we do have here, it is uh, how people are going to take on you and what kind of impression people are going to um, have upon you. It's kind of like what kind of individual you're going to look like in front of the people. That is to be uh, the Empress card. And uh, the last one here, which is the uh, guidance that Tara is offering, uh, we have uh, the Eight of Swords. All right. So, um, well, that will be a, a short one here, Cancer. Uh, that week, uh, particularly um, people who are fighting for certain uh, for certain things right and kind of like they are trying to reach a certain milestones into their life are gonna find themselves in a very pleasant position to be honest uh that is for uh, the first couple of cards for that reason here we do have uh, the judgment with the six of cups and let's start from the topic first and foremost so six of cups um uh, while it may represent reflection from the past okay uh the six of cups it is the card where we are kind of like feeling like children and i will try to explain what that means in in regards to tarot because i have heard someone to say wake up the, the the child within you and i'm like, what the hell are you talking about to wake up the child within me so what the six of cups is really all about it is that the endeavors and the actions that we have to take, the enterprises that we are to face or you are to face throughout the week, Cancer, are going to um, ignite, I would say, or place a, a simultaneously emotional and physical satisfaction. That is what it means to be like a, a child, that you're going to like what you're going to do, you're going to like what you, whom you are going to spend time with, you're going to like what kind of tasks you're going to take into your work and into your job and this is where the um the energies fit uh here with the judgment and those energies are gonna more uh, are gonna kind of like a make you more aware if you will of um of, of a um how it's not exactly how productive but on what kind of a good place you are at that particular point uh what i'm trying to say here guys cancer it is that for those of you that uh, are thinking that the life it's kind of down in the dumps that you are in the rock bottom and that you know that there is no salvation or escape anywhere that week for one or another reason, good things are going to start happening to you and those energies are going to make you realize that you are seeking those treasures in life, not in the right direction, but actually um, the good things in life are the small things in life, okay? And you're going to start enjoying more those small things in life. The smile of a stranger, uh, taking a, a, a sentimental gift from someone as well, a, a simple thank you also. And that being said, those who are how can i say it um those who are more prone to be open for good surprises a good surprises are going to come into into their life throughout uh, this uh, throughout this week so where this is all going to though uh it's going to a um 
one situating themselves uh, himself or herself in that particular regard you cancer so it's uh, in that particular week it doesn't look like that you're going to make a particular advance moving forward for reason being is that you're going to be happy of where you're finding yourself at. even if at the start of the week things aren't looking very well they will they will they should with those cards kind of like get a turn for the better in an exponential rate uh, meaning that more and more um, the, the how can i say it the rate with uh, with which good things are start happening to you is going to uh, be amplified uh, in a rapid rate once again okay so uh, what is uh, the uh, what is the challenge here that you will have to face throughout the week so uh, i i don't feel that i did a good job explaining the reading here um it's uh, but with those two cards it's more like uh, having an eye to enjoy the good stuff and to neglect the, the, the bad stuff around it's just what those two cards are uh, saying so what is going to be the challenge of the tree of wands and uh, the challenge itself resides within the expectations of ones particularly with you cancer and that card kind of points that one has to be resigned about a kind of a situation they're finding themselves out and try to do the best they can with it instead of trying to change it okay so you can't expect say the least that everything is going to go smoothly and everything is going to go by a plan throughout the week however that doesn't mean that it cannot turn out to be a productive endeavor happy situation you know gaining for enterprise and etc etc it's just you gotta work with what you with, with, with what you have and that itself is going to push you to a limit. What I mean is that you will have to think creatively, for example. You will have to kind of like readapt. You will have to in generally challenge yourself to, tr to reverse, excuse me, a so-called poignant situations into rather a happy situations. One thing I uh, forgot to mention here with the, with the Six of Cups in the um, Judgment uh, in the energy it is uh, especially for those which are single those two cards may speak for a simultaneously physical and emotional attraction i'm gonna sneeze guys sneeze a lot <clears throat> oh my god no oh, bless me anyway so physical and emotional attraction and that being said uh, these two cards may speak for a, a mutual crush okay uh, especially if you're single and you're socializing around you, you just want to uh, find your match uh, these uh, these couple of cards are strongly suggesting that uh, if you do not find your match here at least you're going to understand that you're on the right track you you are looking for the right traits in the person that it is to come in your future but uh, when we're talking about the tree of wands in a challenging position here it is uh, to be more uh, like said a humble and resigned about what the situation truly is and try to make the best out of it instead of trying to change it so you go by the pattern instead of trying to align the pattern to your own preferences if you will and uh, gifts and the, uh, the blessings here that we do have for you cancer it is the four of pentacles so uh first of all that card points that this state uh that uh, the week is going to present you it having the possibility or the opportunity to enjoy the things in life the small things in life that is and to um, uh, kind of like a neglect the negative influence and focus more on the positive influence is going to be a, a long lasting one that is one of the blessings another blessing it is uh, with the four of pentacles here guys it is that you are to be able to how can i say it adopt a defensive measures and guard your relationships and your uh, place into your career okay and in generally a ensure a secure future for yourself for your marriage for your relationship for your job and so on and so forth and uh, now that i said job and now that i think of say you hate going at your place to work it is just every morning um waking up and just going at work it is an immense toil for you it's because you hate what you're doing well those cards here are pointing that probably you're gonna find joy joy in what you're doing some interest project maybe okay or just say a nice person to work with that makes the job so much more pleasant and less irritating than before and uh, this is how they may um kind of like a turn out i mean those cards and uh it's just that is secured for you to have it there 
for a long distant future. But uh, with those gifts and blessings, it's very important not to become greedy because it's, it's, it's very common with the Four of Pentacles. Because whatever you're focused on as a gift and blessing, you will be able to situate it and, uh, and consolidate it, say. But if you focus on it alone, that may predispose you for a lonely and empty existence, meaning that whatever good fortune the Six of Cups and the Judgment card gives you as a, a, a good time spent, you know, and an emotional overflow and etc. You got to be able to share it with someone else as well if that chance is presented to you, okay? Don't be greedy over it. For example, just if I have to give you an example of it, let's say that I am extremely bored. I'm, I'm giving an example with myself and I find a good game that I am to play and I am to enjoy and that makes my my life colorful again. Well, don't keep I should not keep it for myself. I should share it with someone else, you know, say about it, shout out about it and so on and so forth so other people can enjoy it too. Uh next one it is how people are going to have a look at you, how people are going to take on you here. We do have the Empress card and that only kind of like consolidates the previous cards here. Uh, it does point that people are going to find you very mature although you're gonna act like a child throughout the week you know enjoying the things in life that are every day's routine however um they are gonna find you mature as uh, how can i say it really as uh, these people will understand that one or another way uh, even though you kind of like um, are showing exhilaration you are still capable of a uh, doing well-found decisions say and or taking the right actions as well but above everything else here with the empress card people were to see you as someone who plans uh, you may not be but this is how people are gonna see you the true plan the true are start planning for the distant future because there will be like said a significant change in behavior in you you know going from a very moody and like a storm clouds type of person into someone happy exhilarating and enjoying things like having a beverage with your colleagues having a cup of coffee with your friends and etc etc so uh that being said is going to place a more uh, let's say faith and hope into those that are around you seeing you that you are revitalizing once again and uh, the last one that we do have here guys uh, that is to be the guidance that Tara is offering we do have the eight of swords and that is just a confirmation that whatever happiness you are looking for it uh, maybe you're not looking it in for it in the right way or in the right place because the eight of swords points that you have place certain limits to yourself you do have a self-imposed limitations and those limitations needs to be overcome broke down uh tear down excuse me destroyed annihilate you say it so you have to allow yourself to think bigger than that okay just because you're for example struggling financially that doesn't mean that you don't have to kind of like put a smile on your face or um have a good talk with people around or just watch a show you don't have to be depressed all day long and uh, the the eight of swords, because that is not going to solve your problem. That 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 was where I was going into. And the eight of swords says, as well as the guidance, that one needs to recognize the truth because truth makes one free. And in that particular case, the truth is that you can be happy all, all around yourself just if you look for the small things in life. Okay, uh, but if you don't recognize the truth and the truth makes you free, then what the denial of it makes you really? It makes you prison to your own depression. So. That being said, just go out and have fun, guys. That is what the reading really says here. Uh, it's going to make a strong impression into those around and will help you to get back onto your feet in case you are brought down on your knees. So that being said, this was your general uh, weekly tarot reading, March 2nd to March 8th, 2020, uh, Cancer. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you're interested in a personal reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below will give you a link to my website from which uh, you can select a, a service of your choice. And as soon as you make your purchase, within 24 hours, I'm going to come back with you via, via email, giving you details how your reading is going to take place. So hopefully we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.